Welcome back. The Sioux Falls Stampede is set to host an ugly sweater night and it will help to benefit a great cause in the community. This morning we're joined by Jim Olander, president and CEO for the team to talk about this event. Thank you so much for coming. Well, thanks for having me guys. He's had, very to, festive, had, to, yes. had to be festive <laughs> for you. So. so tell us all about all about the event. Yeah, so we've uh, we've done this now for a number of years and it's kind of one of those promotions. It's kind of grown and grown, but it's become one of our uh, big nights. It's uh, ugly sweater night and we've got a lot of different things going on. It's a big benefit for the Salvation Army. So um, for one, we want people to, to come dressed in their best ugly uh, sweaters. You can uh, enter in a contest. We'll put things on our social media where you can just post a, a photo of yourself at the game and then we will take uh, like the top three or four kids, the top three or four adults and uh, we'll bring them and put them on the video board and we let fans uh, vote on who has the best ugly uh, Christmas sweater. So that'll take place uh, during the game. Uh, the first 500 fans through the doors are gonna get a, a free Stampede jersey ornament. So those uh, are looking pretty cool thanks to the Salvation Army. So something uh, you can put on your on your tree. Mm -hmm. And then uh, just a, a lot of fun different things. We'll be wearing specialty jerseys, which I was hoping to have here today, but it's it's coming. We're, uh, <laughs> we're getting those delivered soon. Uh, but uh, a specialty jersey, and I like to <clears throat> call them not so ugly because they're really not very ugly. Uh, but we're going to be playing Fargo and new this year, which I think is going to be pretty cool that fans will enjoy. So they're actually doing their ugly sweater on Friday and we play up there on Friday. So we are going to wear our ugly sweater jerseys against them on Friday and then they're coming down here and they'll be wearing the, theirs as well. So it'll be the first time ever that I've seen two teams wear ugly uh, holiday sweaters uh, against each other. So that'll be a lot of fun come Saturday night. The whole stadium will be involved. It won't yes. be half. It'll be yes. everybody. Yes, everybody will be. Uh, I think theirs are red. Ours are, are blue navy. So uh, it should look very uh, holiday-ish on the mm -hmm. ice. And then um, and then we just, uh, the whole night is, is, is holiday themed. We'll have holiday music, Christmas music being played um, throughout, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, throughout the course of the night. And um, some different uh, fun intermission activities that'll involve the holidays. And it's really just a great night for families to come out, you know, have some fun um, and enjoy, obviously, some stampede hockey which Fargo is a big rival of ours so sometimes we forget we're playing on the uh, playing a game too and it's uh, going to be a really entertaining game they're the, they're the top team in the league so we're trying to to take them down this weekend how do these special nights really just bring in the crowd and really kind of change the atmosphere of the game? Yeah, I think, you know, people are just, it's, it's you know, it's kind of the joyous time of year. So people are a little more boisterous. People like the holiday music. Uh, we get a lot of companies that are obviously coming for their holiday parties. So we tend to see a little bit bigger crowds and um, fans, you know, families just have fun. It's, it's a, a night where you can be a little goofy, you can have some fun, wear your fun sweaters uh, and hang out together. And um, it just seems to bring out the best. And then obviously, you know, the, the big part of it too I should mention is the Salvation Army we're mm -hmm. we're working with them uh, you'll be able to bid on the the jerseys that we're wearing through dash auction and the proceeds are going to benefit the Salvation Army also cool this year it is their match day so they'll have their kettles out so if uh, I believe it's if you make a $20 donation it turns into $100 um, so we're looking to raise a lot of money for the Salvation Army they've been great partners of ours it's obviously the the time of the season it fits perfect so we're, we're pretty excited to work with them and have some fun uh, this weekend with our fans and as we look forward to the new year, what other events do you guys kind of have coming up? Yeah, we've got, we're going to be busy. So uh, we take, uh, the league will take a, a week off for, for Christmas, which is nice. The only time of the year that our players get to actually go home and, and be with their uh, real family. So uh, then we come back and we're busy. We're home December 30th, uh, a Saturday night. It's going to be our superhero night. So we're going to have some fun with kids there. And then we're home on New Year's Eve, which has become a tradition. I think we've been on, on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day here over the last seven, eight years. Um, and that's going to be a lot of fun. We'll have photo booths. We'll have a countdown ticker. We'll have a giveaway. We're giving away, uh, I think the first thousand fans are getting a stampede beanie. So there'll be a lot of fun things going on. And then we go all the way into January um, where we'll have our Hockey Day South Dakota weekend where we have three games coming up. And then in February uh, is our Wiener Dog Night, which is a uh, can't miss. Iconic. Wow. That's right. <laughs> Lots of exciting events to come. Yeah, a lot of stuff coming up. We're, uh, we're really excited to to uh, have some home games here and, and bring the fans out and have some fun. All right, well, thank you for thank joining you. us. You'll have to come out and support.